It was for us a great surprise when we were approached by South African Rugby Union and invited to compete in the Curry Cup competition. With it, it brought also huge challenges. I think the competition, when we prepared budgets to compete effectively, we looked at in the region of 15 million. We somewhat had to cut our budget, but nonetheless, we are on track to compete effectively in this first season of the Curry Cup. Namibia Rugby had its recent AGM in March where myself was re-elected as president for a third term and most of the board members also re-elected. Uh, I think why people partner with us, I'd like to deviate or move away from the word sponsors. I think what we have established now is uh, strategic partnerships. And this is what we must continue to build on. In order to grow the game, it is necessary that we establish stakeholder confidence. And we have done that not only with our partners locally, but also with the government of the Republic of Namibia and also with World Rugby. That is evident that we were also received a grant of 250,000 pounds this year to assist us in our preparation for the next cycle of Rugby World Cup. This is also a historic for Namibia. It has never happened before. So having said that, clearly our World Cup results for Rugby World Cup 2015 has been evident for everybody to see. Uh, I think Namibia Rugby, you will agree with me, we have moved away from the concept of participating we are now in the process of competing effectively. Uh, 2015 saw Namibia's most successful participation in a Rugby World Cup ever. Namibia improved its average losing margin by 46%, improved its world ranking by three places from 23 to 20. We are now talking of losing margins, I think, in the next cycle and beyond we should be looking at winning margins. So. Uh, it, we also achieved our first ever Rugby World Cup point. Something very, very dear to us, something very close to us is Namibian Rugby. I can remember as a 10, 12 year old boy watching our Namibian team beating the Western Province on this specific field. I can also remember us beating them again on Newlands. And what I can specifically remember is how difficult it was to get into the stadium. It was always full, a lot of passionate, passionate uh, spectators and, and people supporting the team. And then of course it was always the Narkis that was involved. I'm not sure if all of you can remember that. So Bolton and Narkis was the order of the day back then. But you know for us, yes, so this is a sponsorship um, from an Namibian brewery's point of view. And from a personal point of view, I see it more as reinvesting into the sport, rugby in Namibia, um, because of the understanding what it can do for us, not only as players, not only uh, for players and the, uh, the Namibian Rugby Union, but also, you know, Namibians um, in totality. There's, there's very little things that brings people together um, with a common, a common cause or common objective um, like sport. For us, it's very important that if you think about the performance of the national team in the Rugby World Cup, that the sponsorship through draft made a lot of made a lot of things possible, specifically from a performance point of view. And if you just think back on the performance of the guys, I think we have achieved that, and that definitely is something that was made possible uh, for the guys to take their own performance uh, to a next level. Secondly, you know, like I said, it's something that we are very, um, I must say, sincere about. We want to see the stadium filled up again. We want to give, you know, spectators a high standard of, 
of sport through through rugby and through through this team and their performance in in the Curry Cup. Um, we we, we want to you know we want to see the turnstiles running. Um, we want to see young children and schools and everybody else can't wait for the next game to play and and people coming here with a lot of a lot of pride and a lot of passion. We have so much to be proud of right now as Namibia. We've just celebrated 26 years of independence. We have a stable economy, we have a democracy um, that we elected. We have a government that's intent on unity and transformation. And we have a safe environment in which to grow as businesses and as individuals and as sports teams. And we have people and heroes within our midst that we are able to rally around. It's very exciting. Then the reason that we're here today is really a belief that already we're winners. If I think back to last year and what happened in terms of the World Cup and when FMB was involved then, it was the first time that I really felt, my goodness, we also play rugby. <laughs> and so I don't have the 10-year-old experience, but that doesn't mean that I wasn't stirred. And I think that that's something that we hope to bring as the helpful bank to this, is to get the families involved, to let them be stirred by something that is bigger than individuals, that actually gets people rallied around this feeling. So we are proud of our United Sports ability, we're proud of being able to take on Sub-Saharan Africa, we're proud to take on the continent, we certainly valiantly and most inspirationally took on the world last year.